testing that out. <clears throat> I started to see letters in this painting. Um, I guess the most obvious one was the A. And then, uh, what else did I see? Well, I just made an E, and, and then I saw the K. So our children are Abigail, uh, is our daughter-in-law. She's married to Evan. Kalen is our son. He's married to Callie, so there's a K. Um, this is sort of a B. That's my husband, but I have to work on that. And then I just made a W here. It's going to be it's going to be very hard to see, but it's going to be more white. So I just I'm hoping this value is a little bit lighter. That's our our granddaughter Willa. So um, yeah, it almost has to be white, I guess. That's fine. Um, so. I mean, I wasn't really planning on it, but that's kind of what happened as I started to see letters, and um, I think it's kind of cool. A lot of times I will incorporate letters into my paintings. I love typography, and in this case, uh, it just makes sense given all that you know we're going through in the world right now with the pandemic and family is what we have. It's um, what gets you through the hard times. Um, and so I kind of like that this painting has evolved to become really meaningful to me. I never know what's going to happen in a painting or where it's going to go, what it's going to mean. But, you know, we all talk about content and just because this is a non-objective painting, um, you know, things that are meaningful have a, a way of finding their way into a painting, I think. Um, it depends on how, I guess, open you are when these things sort of happen, or if you just start to want to push a painting in a certain direction, you can do that at any time. This might take a couple of coats. It's, um, it's titanium white, and normally you think of it as being pretty opaque, but then when you start painting with it, it, it it's pretty thin. 
I don't mind it being thin. I'm not sure if I'll give it another coat or not, but I wanted it to be really subtle. So I would say the entire day today has been spent, you know, clarifying this painting. Um, definitely been editing out. I've been painting out a lot of things. I don't think I've been adding very much. I mean, even this, it's very subtle. And yeah, I'm adding a letter, but it's uh, hard to see. So I've mostly been painting out things, trying to simplify. Um, it's been several hours of fine tuning, which is not uncommon, especially on a bigger painting like this. Usually I don't do it all in like one painting session, but um, I had such a horrible day today <laughs> with um, technology. I spent the entire, like, I don't know, like three or four hours just on the phone with um, various companies trying to get my webcam to work and trying to get my speakers to work. And it was just so frustrating. And I, I don't know, it was really nice to be able to just paint and forget about how I feel like I waste so much time when I'm on the phone trying to solve all these problems. It's very frustrating, but... Um, Yeah, there's the W. But I'm thinking of, this is my letter B. Let's see here. And I can always enhance some of these marks later if I want to. Oh. Kind of like that. actually got a little darker toward the bottom. pencil. Just a little bit of detail so that when you're up close you can see it. I can do the same thing with like the W. It's kind of fun. Makes it stand out a little bit more. take some photos and then I think I'm going to take the tape off because I'm I'm always dying to take the tape off even though you know I might not be completely done but I just want to see what it actually looks like I can't really tell what the composition is until I take that that tape off let's see here try to get some close-ups of like the dash lines which are here And over here, this is my letter B. Sometimes I'll do a square format for Instagram. to paint the edges of the canvas. That's not a problem, but I just wanted to try and keep it somewhat clean. 
Okay, so I feel like I'm, I'm definitely in Clarify and I'm getting very close to finishing the painting. So I wanted to share a few things with you that I typically do, especially when I'm working large scale uh, where it's hard to flip the, um, the painting, uh, either it's too heavy or in this case it's actually stapled to the wall and I like to check balance. So one little thing you can do is you can print out the actual image, which is what I did here. And this allows me to look at the painting and, you know, look at it vertically, uh, turn it around and kind of check where maybe an imbalance is occurring. Um, and when I did that, it was, it was pretty well balanced, but you know, there are little things that I, um, could see that would help a little bit. So one thing is, um, I'm going to add a little bit of, um, interest down here because you can see even in this orientation that there's a lot of interest here. Um, there's a lot of interest here and here, but then, you know, over here, um, there's this big white shape and anyway, so that's kind of what I'm going to do. So I really want to get the value right. And just a little bit of this creamy, buttery yellow. It's really nice. Just wanted to warm up the gray because if you don't add any color to the gray, it's just a completely achromatic gray. Let me just see how, um, I don't want to match this exactly and I don't want to match this exactly. So this might actually be okay. And what I want to do is probably use this guy because I'm trying to capture, I want some of the shape to remain. Like I like this maroon line, but then I want to get rid of everything underneath it. So I do want straight edges. way because it's going to be want to be kind of a straight line for starters that's okay I have to check back over here and see it's pretty dry um, gonna gonna go over that with this kind of same yellow orange but I'm gonna add some yellow to it see how that changes the color I mean, I want it bright. I want it saturated. I think I need a different brush. Let's 
see how this is here. Yeah, that's better. Just wanted it to be cleaner. And by putting that white underneath it, I get to change the oops, surface quality a little bit. There's definitely a canvas texture here, so obviously the more, uh, the thicker your paint is, a little bit less juicy the uh, texture of the canvas, but I don't mind the texture. 